All right, I'm pretty sure we've done this before once, but freeze-dried cream cheese. Um, last week, one of my grocery stores had cream cheese on sale for 88 cents, and that's wicked cheap if you have paid attention. Even pre-pandemic, that's a really good price. So we stocked up, and I put some in the freeze dryer. So it just finished. I'm gonna see how well they did. All right, so this did end in the middle of the night, so I added like three hours to, so it could uh, have more dry. So 37 hours, but like I said, it was actually done for a while. So I am going to release our pressure here on the side. Hear all the pressure releasing, and then once it's released enough, I'll be able to open this, and we'll see if they're dry enough. Then I can do uh, that it's done, and just say no defrost. If they're not done and they need more time, then okay. So you see, I just did the whole thing. Okay, let's see how they—they're pretty, pretty dry. Oh, perfect and it just crumbles apart. So now we will have cream cheese powder. So since they are done, I'm gonna go ahead and click no defrost and the machine will stop. And any of the moisture inside, see this? This on the inside, that's ice built up. That's the water that it pulled out of the cream cheese. So now I'm gonna go put these in jars and now we will have freeze dried cream cheese powder. All right, so here's our cream cheese. I left some, I didn't put in the bottles so that we can rehydrate it. So I fit eight, let's turn this that way. Ooh. I fit eight, eight ounce bricks, whatever, bricks, cubes, whatever. Blocks. Blocks of cream cheese per jar. These are the big like 64 ounce jars. So that's almost ounce per ounce. I think a little bit more than eight. Or a little, yeah, because there was 25, we had 25 total. Um, this, I can fill already, it's not as dry as it was. So we have the trays sitting out here um, Wonder if that's all afternoon. Sucked up some of the moisture. It probably did, because the window was open. Oh yeah, next so, to the garden. But, I mean, it's still pretty dry, but I, I don't feel like it's as dry as it was when I put in okay. here. I'm gonna rehydrate with my cold ice water. Because I figure it's cream cheese, we want it kind of cold, right? It's like super flaky too. It just crumbles up, but so I just oh yeah, that's we'll see how long it takes to rehydrate. Mm -hmm. Did you just eat it dry? I did just eat it dry. How's it taste? Well, well, like you were implying, it does. It's not as brisk dry. If that mm -hmm. you can say that, it's got some moisture into it, but it cream cheese flavor that's for sure so i wonder and i know it's actually kind of good mm. rehydrating um freeze-dried food it's always better when you do hot water it just tends to rehydrate easier and better for some reason because it was just sitting right here so it's kind of we'll all that out. it's kind of grainy. grainy yeah throw some more in there maybe if you get too much water maybe I mean, if you sip the water out, it kind of looks like homemade cheese at this point. Yeah, it kind of does. Like a ricotta cheese. It does. It looks very... I wonder if you put it like in a blender, maybe? Well, and it hot water probably would have helped it a little bit more. Possibly. Should I add some more? You could add some more. Maybe try. I added more wa too much it water. It could just be the texture of it. I don't know. We'll see how it, how it rehydrates. Too wet? Add more. Too dry, add water. Well, you find the right I mean, it's kind of how freeze dried stuff goes. Right. Well, and there's folks on the Facebook group that are really like engineer it to death almost. They figure out how much water was in there versus how much water is evaporated so they know how much water to put back into it. Ain't nobody got time for that. For we me, just it's, eyeball it. Yeah personal preference taste. okay i think that helps that's a little bit better adding some more to it it okay. still has the ricotta cheese texture yeah it still looks so kind of grainy it looks like yeah okay i got some wheat thins 
Oh. And they are the, mask the flavor. Tomato basil weekends. No, these are the good weekends. As they say on YouTube, not a sponsor. <laughs> I wish. Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Thank you. Chip for you? Yes. I'm just going straight in. You're not. Oh, you savage. You're not going to use a spoon? Hmm. I just taste the sun dried tomato. It creams it down. It doesn't have a super strong cream cheese flavor. No, and it still has more of a water base to it. So as a... Well, maybe if it sits up for a minute. Possibly. I'm going to say just at least for right now, as we did dipped it in, not the way Ooh. I would reuse it, perhaps. Yeah. But to use it in baking or like a frosting or something, maybe. I wonder if I put it in the microwave. Let's try it. Hot cream? Oh, maybe. It's Let your baby. Hold, please. we're back well it did kind of make it a little soupier but look it's not as grainy yeah what's the matter now it looks like baby food <laughs> it kind of does well, we gotta try it now no that's all you no you gotta try it this is mm. cream cheese the things you heated do. up You're just trying to sucker me in with that no. ooh. I like it warm. See? I suckered you in, didn't I? You did, but you it's, were right, actually. It's better warm. It added something to it. Mm -hmm. It well, almost brought the flavor back out into it. It did. Well, and, it, and it's interesting because it, it is kind of runnier. It's... So if you're going to heat it up, maybe not add as much liquid, but... Or heat it up and then let it cool again so it's solid. I don't know. Well, if I had done rehydrated with hot water, it might have helped. But that's not bad because it's kind of like when we do the smoked cream cheese. It's still soup. You got cream cheese soup. Yeah, it's still pretty runny. But... Yeah, you throw other things in there and have cream of soup. Well, you can put, this, like, put the powder in a frosting or a cheesecake yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Cook with it. Definitely worth it. doing. If you get cream cheese on sale, freeze dry it. Not exactly what I would rehydrate and eat as cream cheese, though. But it has potential. You have to mix it with stuff. If you're the mad scientist that can figure out the formula, let us know. <laughs> this is what you come up with. But you said it tasted good. 